Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today I'm going to be checking out the game Hue. Um, I don't really have any expectations or any idea of what this game's about. Uh, before we get into this, I'd just like to say if you do like this video or any other videos on my channel, please feel free to give it a like and other videos and um, subscribe for future content. Um, currently I have two playlists or two series going. I've got a survival Minecraft modded world. I've also got this one which is me checking out different games each each day. Um, so yeah, first impressions of this game, this art style, seems. I assume it's a lot based on colour since the title hue and uh, it almost gives me a vibe of Binding of Isaac, the art style of these um, people. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So it's very black and white to start off with. I assume... Oh, we got a let. I assume this game is a lot about um, darkness, black and white, monochrome. Oh, I've had becoming the most luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum. Yeah. A ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of colour. So the black and white is sort Some of so shown as evil. <laughs> and colour is the good side in this, I guess. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. Ooh. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering coloured shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this coloured plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. Oh yeah, so I'm stuck in so a I monochromatic left. world. I left for the university where I hid away the coloured tools I had created. Oh. I pray you so this is the typewriter sound. The ring. I pray that I find the ring, so I assume this game is me looking for a ring. That was a weird person on the right hand side there. So I assume I'm looking for a ring to create colour. It's an interesting concept. I like the art style. It's almost like a um, background of fabric with the blacks and the greys. Oh. I do like this. Very 2D, very cool. Very dark and very bold at the same time with this music especially. So we can go into any of these houses. I can go down and up them. Oh. Got a bird. I wonder where we're going. We're, every game you go right. I wonder what's left. We got a boat. I wonder if we can set sail on that. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. I guess I should check out the lighthouse then. Maybe I can go in here and have a look. My first glimpse of colour in the game. So I assume with this gun that we get, or ring, sorry, not gun. I don't know where gun came from. Ring with the colours. We can then use that to maybe pull the colours into the ring, or maybe just get rid of the colours, who knows. And some more colour. So this is what was strange then, colour in a monochromatic world. I love the music, whoa. Okay, so we're building colour into the world. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It's true. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in it's this an interesting world concept. sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This. This is why we're here. Just talk to the fisherman again. Wow, the skies have cleared. What a beautiful day. It's almost like it's the first time he's seen blue. But it adds so much to the game. She brought up an um, interesting comment there. In that, how do we know what our blue is? What someone else sees in blue? You don't. 
but you know because you watch an old black and white tv show or film and uh you can almost see the colors in the film you can your brain picks out the colors and you can imagine it even though it's all black and white or because of the different shades of gray it is interesting so i assume we're just looking for all these different colors of uh colors yeah i guess <laughs> Go down here? No, just just down here. And into the door. And we're underground again. Back in the endless expanse of no colour. Hello. Hello. Hugh, was that yes it is me. Thank goodness I've been trapped for days behind this blue. Let me get out of here. I keep hearing noises creeping me out. So this is where we learn to use the uh, colour wheel that we've just shown. Oh! Oh, this is a cool concept. They just disappeared. I don't know how you did it. Neither do I. No problem, mate. So, uh, it looks like we can change the background and that makes sense. So I can change the background and then the foreground colours then just absorb into it. So if I change the background to orange here, all this orange gets absorbed and I can head back down. But I just need to find some orange. This is a this is a beautifully designed game and very interesting. So we're we're just heading forward because it's the only way we can go. I assume we're gonna have to backtrack or maybe this is just one world that we keep going back and forth through. Enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations, to pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. Okay, so she wants me to get rid of expectations and not expect things, but also see things and imagine things for the future. I guess I can do that. You know what? I'm just going to keep changing this to blue because it looks more beautiful. Oh, hello there. I'm not going to do that voice. You startled me. Yeah. I walked up to you and you were sat on a waterfall. I'm just resting my legs. Don't play too close to the water now. Looks like she's drinking milk. Maybe we can jump over. Forward. If that doesn't constitute playing too close to the edge, I don't know what does. Unless she wants me to fall down there. Or I might want to do that just to test it out. You know what, I'm going to try that. She's telling me not to do something. I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> Didn't end well. I've heard there are caves through the waterfall. Apparently they stretch for miles. I would never go myself though. It's far too dangerous. That's what I'm here for. Boy with the colour. Oh, don't want to stand on that, do I? Let's drop down through. Some more blue. What's this about? Hold shift. Ah, this is cool. This is really cool. I've messed this up, haven't I? No, maybe. I see. <laughs> Come on now. Don't be like that. Now we've got to put it back along through up again okay that seems like a, a stupid idea let's do this is this gonna work hmm oh I see do I 
try this. That worked. Sorted. Didn't want those rocks to fall on my head. So if we... Can we get rid of colour afterwards? No, it doesn't look like it. Wouldn't it if we could go up to that ladder somehow? Oh, do we go through the door and it'll reset? What if we go back through again? So, yeah. See, we can get through there, but I guess we need a second colour to be able to switch it between the two. Okay. At least I know. I've messed that up and I'm dead again. Oh, didn't go well. Let's hide underneath this weird... What do you call that? It's almost like a big cow thing, but with other horns on the sides. Again with the boulders. Everything's trying to kill me. And back through. Again, more uh, ladders that we can get to when we've got a second colour. Oh, this one's tricky. I guess this is going to be a race. Why are there spikes in the water? I did, I did it again. God, come on, me think. Wow, this game's out to get me. What's this? One of twenty-eight. I wonder, oh, no, I don't know. I wonder what they are. Can we climb up through this? No, I thought the ladder might have continued up. But I like the water sounds in this. It's very relaxing. We could almost play this game to fall asleep. It's that woman again. She almost looks like a worm. She's gone. She's here, or is she? Just, no, she's completely gone. Oh, what's this with the seahorses? And we've got our new colour. Purple. Are we missing one, or are they just coming random orders? Who knows? What does this look like? Maybe one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven colours altogether. So yeah, is my thing right? Yeah, it changes the background. So the foreground is always black. And the background changes colour. Do we keep going forward? Or do we head back and see if there's any more surprises? Since we're missing one, I'd assume it might be down one of those other paths. Let's see if we can find anything. And if not, we'll come back here. So here we've got back to this level with all the boulders and the ladder. And since we were down the bottom, we couldn't get up to here. Wonder what's up here. Oh, another one of these bottles. So these are an achievement system, I guess. Let's get back down. Well, now what do I do? How do I get back from here? Ah, so I was just looking through the menus and there's a map. So we can head back to where we started. So you can see here, I assume this is where we left the village. Anyway. So we came down to here from the village. And there was this. Ah, it's orange, so we can't do anything. So I guess we've got to carry on going down our one path until we've collected everything at the end of that. And then we go back again. It's interesting. Maybe there's some. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, almost cheating the system. I don't think I can reach up here. I guess there's another color block. That we oh no. Potion number three. At least there's no fall gap damage in the game. I think I've figured out how to get up here. What you gotta do is jump. And as you're jumping, change the colour. 
This is a great little game. Such a unique little feature. Just to find these little potions. Just for the secrets. It's got a nice little story. Not that I've seen much of it. But from what I have seen, it's a nice little story. So now we're back to where we found that purple colour. If we carry on a little bit longer, I think I might found, find maybe one or two more potions before... Or maybe the next colour. See how long we go. Oh, new letter. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? It's the hardest colour for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. Seems impossible. A colour beyond what we can actually perceive. That's not impossible. We call these impossible colours. Well. And I fear that this... This is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I I'm sure that you. I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. Well, yeah, I agree. It can, you know, make you question what you believe. But I disagree in that beyond the visible spectrum of light, there's plenty of other light, infrared, uh, ultraviolet, all these different types of light that we can't perceive with our own eyes. But they're still there. They're still forms of light. So after the rainbow, obviously, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, as she's saying there is purple. Uh, that's not the end of the colours. It's the end of the visible colours that we can see. Yeah. Alright. So here. Just switching between the two. It's all weird. I do love this art style. Blue. Purple. Blue. Purple. What's the point of putting this here? I see. Do I? I do. Oh, this is clever. I can get to here. Make it invisible. Walk through it. And then change it again. This is a... This is such a fun little... Mechanic. And it works so well. I am having trouble. See, I see blue here and I want to change it to blue. I should have jumped before I did that, shouldn't I? Yeah, it's a hard little mechanic to get used to, but once you do, it's amazing. In mid-air change. Getting good at this. Purple, through the door. Do that. Purple. And then blue. And then Oh. Missed that. And again, I keep forgetting which colour I'm doing. I'm just going backwards here. Okay, think. So the next is gonna be blue. I didn't move though. Purple. Jump, move, blue. Jump, move, purple. It's always... God, you got to think about that. Any colour in here? Is that worm woman again? She's not a worm. She looks like one. Well, she's led me to my first few colours. So I wonder if this is where I get my next one. I think it is. Same sort of pyramid. And we've got is this yellow or orange. I'd say this is orange, but I might be wrong. No, it's definitely yellow. 
I was completely wrong. Anyway, this has been Hugh. I think this is a great game. I might actually, without any feedback in the comments, I might actually play a few more episodes of this game. It's really interesting. I think I might play this in my own time, if not videos, um, just to complete all the uh, objectives, see where this story goes. I like the idea of having colour as being evil and good, and um, being able to collect it and change every little detail. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, um, and subscribe to my channel for future content and for future videos in this series. Um, if you haven't already checked out any other videos in this Checks Out series, I advise you do in the uh, playlist at the end. And I also have a Minecraft playlist um, that you can go check out. But other than that, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>